for me, it's important to know where to start. Everything is unique. You're knitting all these elements together. It's just plowing through. Every job should be so easy. As anyone who's ever worked on a documentary will tell you, the shooting ratios have grown very quickly since the advent of a very cheap tape. Everything is unique in documentary dailies. So you have to pay attention all the time when you're screening, because you're probably only going to see everything once. You have to take very, very good notes. This was a film, um, Barbara Koppel shot a lot of film at the 25th anniversary of the Woodstock concert. But this is about uh, how complicated the rules were and how they kind of fell apart. Attendees who have purchased a hotel or camping package <coughs> or attendees who purchased their package through PDV in so Montclair, So I'm saying Jersey, please stop shooting at this point. You, know? festival site once you can see the cameraman's board too. 9 PM. <laughs> okay, so this was my first idea. You obviously have to cut the voice down and let's try something. For security and traffic control concerns, no pedestrian traffic to or from the festival site will be permitted. Persons desiring to re-enter the festival site may only do so after they have again cleared security procedures at their designated satellite parking lot. These attendees will be identified... So I think to myself, alone in my room, that's kind of funny. I need some more break-in shots. Now where are they again? Well, they're spread all over the dailies. I better know where they are, because I want more of them now. I'm going to do a cut. No pedestrian traffic to or from the festival site will be permitted. Persons desiring to re-enter the festival site may only do so after they have again cleared security procedures at the designated satellite parking lot. These attendees will be identified by an exclusive color-coded armband in terms of organization, unless your notes are really good, like those break-in shots, one of them is on real 347, and one of them is in the middle of 645. I mean, I'm talking tape numbers now. There's a lot, there were a thousand tapes in the room. Uh, they had five camera crews burning film for four days at the festival. But I had to be able to find that stuff because I get an idea to do something I can't like look at all the dailies again. I have to know exactly where they are. So when I'm watching it, I have to be paying attention all the time and describing the material to myself so I can get it. And you have to pay very close attention to your first reaction to the material. Like that scene in the office, deadly boring. But there'll be one little moment when you'll lean forward a little bit and it'll be kind of interesting. And you'll say, seems angry or uh, some tension here. I taught for a while and I used to say, coming to class is like watching documentary dailies. It's boring a lot of the time, but you never know when that one thing is going to pop up that you, know, that you can use. And that's what it's like. You just got to pay attention all the time.